How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is George Bernard welcoming you to Wrestling Champions, produced by Sports Publicity Institute and coming to you from Marigold Arena, Chicago, the wrestling center of the world. The wrestlers have just entered the ring, and now here is your ring announcer, Leonard Sterling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. These wrestling exhibitions are presented by the National Wrestling Alliance, sanctioned and supervised by the State Athletic Commission of Illinois. Your officials for this evening, the attending physician, Dr. Walter Bart, your timekeeper, Mike Murphy, your referee, Maury Friedman. To one in this corner, weighing 350 pounds from Moosehead, Maine, Big Moose Cholak. In this corner, weighing 250 pounds from Sydney, Australia, Fred Atkins. This match is one fall with a curfew time limit. Moose Cholak of Moosehead, Maine. And a big one, 350 pounds. Meeting Freddie Atkins. Freddie Atkins is from Sydney, Australia. 250 pounds. And a real veteran of the mat sport. One time British Empire heavyweight champion. There's the bell, and Moose Cholak applies a little vocal psychology with his moose call. Referee is Mari Friedman, our timekeeper for these matches is Mike Murphy, and physician at ringside, Dr. Walter J. Barth. Remember one fall, curfew time limit, and this match just underway. Well, you're probably getting plenty of sound effects as both men directly above us accompany their efforts with a lot of noise. There's a show of strength. And Moose should have the advantage. Remember, he outweighs Atkins by about 100 pounds. Well, it looks like Atkins has the upper hand, literally. Doesn't look like Moose is enjoying this at all. Backing away. Well, all he has to do is use his weight and fall forward. Here's a real battle with neither one wanting to give up. And Mari Friedman calls for the break as Freddie Atkins backed into the ropes. There's that bear hug, but Moose is forced to break it when Freddie Atkins goes to work on his face. And again, Maury Friedman calls for the break and gets it. Big Moose Cholak, listen to that Moose call. the charge of the moose. I don't like to see it come in this direction. Well, there's a show of speed. And a show of temper. Moose is usually good for one or two 
quick moves in every match, and it looks like he wasted one just a few seconds ago, trying to catch Freddie Atkins off guard. it over into a double wrist lock which is broken by the moose both men in the ropes apparently moose cholak rubbed those knuckles across atkins eyes he's still trying to clear away the tears apparently he's done so because he steams back And we had a boxing match for just a few seconds with neither boy showing any kind of advantage. Who's the right now? Well, there's a surprising display of sportsmanship by Cholak and Freddie Atkins took advantage of it as you saw. Blows by both wrestlers. And Moose Cholak doesn't appreciate the encouragement of the crowd, which was sent in Freddie Atkins' direction. Atkins likes to use a figure four toe hold as his very favorite. his knee and there it is again this time it worked we warned you to watch for it Moose Cholak pulls that very sneaky surprise maneuver out of the hat a couple of times in each match that was the second time after the first one had missed but unfortunately for him they wound up under the ropes and we're forced to break. Atkins dishing out some of Cholak's medicine. And naughty naughty, says Cholak. Well, it looks like Cholak has found somebody who doesn't back away. When they exchange those pile driver blows. Cholak is a big man. And when he brings one up from the deck or from way out in center field, it really hurts. But this time he's being hurt because Atkins, who has 250 pounds to back him up, Leonard Sterling. The time was six minutes, 34 seconds. A body press, the winner, Big Moose Chola.